Welcome to South High, where tonight the Red Wings play host to Green Bay Preble. I'm Chris Wright. Mike Martin is in Arizona, where it's a lot warmer than his year, two degrees here. Join me again is Coach Jeff Wolby, who was with me last year and the last couple times time before that. Thanks for coming in, Jeff. Great to be here. Chris, looking forward to a great game. Now, let's talk a little bit about Sheboygan South. First of all, they're very young. We've talked about this over the course of the season. They have just two seniors on their year. They had a very successful JV program. This year, they're struggling a little bit. Now, in your coaching experience a little bit, how do you make the adjustment from JV and freshmen going up to the varsity, and especially when you're struggling? Well, I think it, it, it takes a great team effort. You've got to stick together, first of all. I mean, that's the most important thing. When the season starts going a little bit bad, people have a tendency to point fingers and say, it's not my fault, it's my fault. Just suck it up, lay together as a team, and work harder in practice every day. You look to get better throughout the season. When you have a young team like this, you play a tough schedule like South has early on, you got to get through that, You know, work on the positives, correct the negatives, and then move forward and get better as the year goes on. Yeah, they played four ranked teams already this season. And, you know, they played Middleton, which is certain state north, which was ranked. I don't know if they still are. The rankings came out today. It's up here in Pulaski. And you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, maybe gets tough for Coach Rank. Well, I mean, rank, rankings or not, these are good programs year in and year out. These, these teams are, you know, it's a challenge to play against. Good thing for South is they're playing them early, get them out of the way, hopefully get through that, stick together, work on getting better in the middle part of the season, and then aim for a big end in it of the season. Another thing that's really hurting South right now is they're struggling to score. So is Green Bay Preble, as a matter of fact. What do you do about that? How do you keep the kids, keep shooting and building confidence about their shooting when it's not going into who? Well, that's a tough one. It's so, you know, it's so individual. It's all about confidence and shooting. A lot of repetition, a lot of practice. Keep being positive with people and keep working on those things. It's all about fundamentals. Yeah, it is. Now, Green Bay Preble comes into this game tonight. Three of their big starters are out, and, you know, and, and, you know, which is really hurting them. This is a type of game for Sheboygan South. You'd like to think you can take with that and kind of start building some momentum. Well, they certainly can't take anything for granted, but they got to come in and play their game. You know, Coach Rank does a really nice job here. Okay, he's had success in the past. He knows how to win. Take those lessons. Keep working on it and work hard tonight. And hopefully, get a victory. Now, another thing we saw the other day for Sheboygan South is it seemed like when they got way behind, they just couldn't make any runs or anything like that. And second half against North the other night, you know, just the game was over by halftime. No matter how. how you know, South get a couple back buckets, but North will get a couple buckets. So I would think tonight South can't fall behind again. No, I don't think so. I think the the thing about playing North the other night was Jordan Hamilton got in, in foul trouble early, took him out of the game for much of the first half. That really, as a player, can really hurt your your rhythm of being involved in the game. I think he's going to be an important part of the game tonight. Since Preble's big people are out, he has a chance to really have some a good game. Yeah. Well. With those comments and things, we'll step aside. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineup for tonight's game. He serves his party best who serves the country best, Rutherford B. Hayes. Patriotism is easy to understand in America. It means looking out for yourself by looking out for your country. Calvin Coolidge. Government is a people's business, and every man, woman, and child becomes a shareholder with the first penny of tax paid. Ronald Reagan. There's nothing wrong in America that can't be fixed of what is right in America. William Clinton. Be the we now. I'm a board certified pediatrician. I've practiced pediatrics now for about 14 years. And I always tell my parents I give the vaccine to both of my daughters. And I really do not want them to come to me 20 years from now and say, Mom, I have cervical cancer and you did nothing to protect me. This is a vaccine that is safe, is effective, and it can prevent cancer.
cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel. One of the goals of high school athletics is learning lifelong values. Sportsmanship is one such value that makes this game an educational experience. The Fox River Classic Conference stresses sportsmanship as a goal and expectation for all in attendance at tonight's game. Please remember to sport a winning attitude by cheering positively for your own team. And now, let's meet the starting lineups first for the Green Bay Preble Hornets. Junior number 11, Griffin Summers. Sophomore number 13, Camden Wall. Junior number 23, Cody Dietz. Sophomore number 25, David Parrott. And junior number 55, Ryan Buss. Head coach, Jim Wall. And now, your starting lineup for your South High Red Wings. Senior number five, Tyler Ginther. Junior number 10, Jared Splitgerber. Senior number 12, A.J. Gutierrez. Junior number 23, Jared Govac. And sophomore number 33, Logan Hamilton. Head coach, Mike Rank. Assistant coach. All right, we're back here at uh, South High. Chris Wright along with Jeff Wolf, as we mentioned before. Uh, Mike Martin is in Arizona, so. Are you ready to tip it off here? As we mentioned in the opening, Green Bay Preble comes in with three of their big stars not playing, including Connor Cardi or Curtis, all-conference player a year ago. Uh, he's got leg issues. Connor Lemons has leg issues, and Dylan Van Voxel. You know, injuries are part of the game, and you know this gives South an opportunity to compete against this Preble team. And right off the bat, Preble gets the first shot. Uh, they've played uh, 10 games this year. Eight of those games, they have only scored 50 or less, Jeff. They're struggling on the offensive end, as, as South has, you know, much of the season. So they play good defense, you know, and hopefully uh, you can get some turnovers to create some offense and get you some easy baskets, and hopefully that gives you some confidence on the offensive end. Little hook shot there, missed by Buss. There's Tyler Ginther, one of our seniors. Logan Hamilton, as Jeff mentioned, had foul trouble on Saturday night. Logan probably wants to have a good ball game. He's number 33. Good cut. Brown over from the weak side, you know, good cut to the, into the post, got him the ball and uh, drew the foul. Not a lot of contact, Jeff. <laughs> The new emphasis. <laughs> There's a shot by AJ Gutierrez and it falls. So South strikes first. That should give them a little bit of a boost. They, you know, they scored in their first possession down the court. Well, Preble ran off about a minute the first uh, time they had the ball. This is Wall. He's a sophomore. His dad's the coach. His grandfather was the coach. He's number uh, 13. Very deliberate, short in the game, fewer possessions. Uh, yeah. You know if you can't score, you gotta play good defense and shorten the game. Little jumper inside the paint is good by Summers. He's their second leading score behind Curtis. He's averaging 14. Is 
that Paul Grauman? I think it is Paul. It's Paul. First foul on Summers, two on Preble. Remember, we've gone to eight mi 18 minute halves, and uh, we'll have a chance to talk about that with Coach Wolf later. Splitberger did a nice job down at the other end and taking that charge and paid for it. <laughs> Tough kid. Yep. Here's Goldbeck. I like him. He's a little spark player and he draws the foul. Slash into the basket. You got to move your feet defensively. If you're not going to, they're going to draw that foul. 75% from the free throw line this year. First sub for Preble, Marcus May, and he's a big fella. Well, they have a short bench, so they can't afford to get anybody to get in foul trouble, so they have to take them out after one foul instead of two. So. That, that should play to South's advantage if they keep taking the ball to the basket. A little press by South. You don't see that very often by them. You stay on your feet and don't jump on a three-pointer. Nice shot. The three points, Griffin Summer. Was that Summers or was that, that was Wall? Yeah. I think the Hamilton with the Summers. Yep. Here's Hamilton. That's Golvec. Good ball rotation. It's good Split. cut. Yep, Splitty nice. with the layup. Nice front cut to the basket. to penetrate the D. Trying to sneak in there is Summers. He's tipped around and A.J. Gutierrez over to Golvec. He's looking at the three, trying to drive on May and does. 10 to five, 14 minutes left. Recognized the defender by not have the foot speed to keep up with the woman and then took him off the ruble. Stay in front. Nice pass by Wall. An easy basket there by Parrott. Basket by David Parrott. Makes a 6 0 run by South and a three falls for AJ. Gutierrez. South looking much more comfortable on the offensive end tonight than the other day against uh, Sheboygan North. Yeah, four and a half minutes in, they got 13 points already. Good D. Yep. Turnover on by Wall. Kovac taken to the basket, tries to draw a foul, hustles to get the rebound. He does. And possession arrow points to South, and there's wholesale substitutions. See if South can, can maintain the, the confidence that's been shown on the offensive end as they substitute here. picks up the foul for South. It's not in your program. 12.42 left. South with a nice six point lead. Another shot by Griffin that is short. Rank with the rebound. Nice box out by the coach's kid. AJ Gutierrez. Yeah. 
16 to seven. Back to back threes by AJ. Well, I think Coach Rank wants his senior backcourt to step up and give him some of his leadership, and then Gutierrez has definitely shown that tonight yep. so far. Here's Hamilton on the push. Nice Rebound take. coast to coast. Preble, I would think, is going to call timeout, but they're not. No, they are. <laughs> We're waiting for the media timeout, uh -huh. Chris. Well, we're going to take a break here with 11.41 left. It's South 18 and Preble 7. One of my most. Welcome, welcome back to South High. Jeff Wolf here, uh, Mike Martin in Arizona, and a great start for South, Jeff. Yeah, they're playing with a lot more confidence than, than they did the other night. So whatever Coach Rank did the last couple of days has really helped them become much more confident on, on the offensive end. And I th think sometimes the quick turnaround, you played Saturday, you basically practiced Monday, and now you're playing again. Maybe wash some of those bad memories out. That, that's, that's a great thing about having a season when you play so many games. That's Gri uh, Summers, Griffin Summers and Wall. Born in the land of the Giants. Tries to dump it in there. Tipped away. Reese on the push. And the nice basket. Nice job. Coast to coast. Kept his head up. Waited for the defense to come. And it didn't stop him. He took it all the way to the basket. Nice play. Well, Preble led 5-4. to four, But since then, it's been all south. And they're really struggling to score. And that's not a good pass. And uh, Splitty's off the bench quickly. Well, you want to push the ball and get it up the floor, but not at the risk of turning it over, especially when you have a 20 to 7 lead and you're playing well. No need to make that iffy play. And there's a stops the eight point run by South as Wall puts one in. in. And that's a deep shot by Rank. Reese. Kicks it out to Gutierrez. He hit one from there before, but he missed this one. Good the hustle, hustle underneath by Rank. And Good I hustle think, by Saul. Yeah, and I think when the face goes down, that's an indication of a foul. Well, I, th I, I'm a, I would Whoa, think that they didn't call a foul. <laughs> they called it out of bounds. I'm sorry. I assumed there was going to be a foul called. Play on, I guess. Wow. Ooh. You see Summers is trying to create. He's, you know, he knows his teammates are out hurt, so he's got to be both creator and scorer. That's a big task, you know, for one player. Well, it seems like they're trying to run some type of weave and hope that they can drive. But uh, with the big three big guys out, it just has seems to have no post uh, possessions or scoring or anything for well, them. Yeah, so far, they hadn't really had the respect to post. They haven't got the ball inside or done anything there offensively. So as long as they can stop Summers, I mean, Preble's going to have a problem. Balls number three. Tyson Reese, second personal, 13. Tyson Reese picks up that second foul. That's three team fouls now on South, three on Preble, and we're at 938. 
Bookmeyer, number 43, over to uh, Derek Williams. Oh, this, nice that's move. Summers. And a three-point attempt is up and missed. And Dylan Martins, one of my favorite players, is in. And we're going to get a timeout for South. I think they've been stuck on 20 for a while. And Coach Rank really wants them to get a good shot. So he took the timeout. And it's going to set up a play and get something out of it, hopefully. Well, we have a minute here. We're winding down to almost halfway through the first half. Your thoughts on the 18-minute halves in high school basketball? Not a fan. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think they were looking to pick up the tempo of games. I, I, I don't see it. I think the games seem to be taking longer. Uh, I, I liked having that uh, first quarter break as a coach and as a player. It, it lets you gather your thoughts and make adjustments. And it's more difficult. Now to do that, you have to take a timeout. So they didn't give you any more timeouts, but you know, they, they expect you to, to play this whole half. I'm, again, not a fan. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a, really sold on it yet either. I, I agree that it's taken part of the coaching away because you don't have that time to break with the kids unless you take kids out. And, and you're um, so used to it as a coach and a player. So, you know, great job by Bobek getting to the basket. I'm sure that's how Coach Rank uh, drew it up in the, <laughs> the sideline. Well, as we mentioned before, well, there's a post entry. And a little half nice hook job, by nice Buss. Shot. Now they've established a little bit of something inside. You know, South has got to make an adjustment. Buss now with a basket. He's got two points. I like Govek too. I like his hustle. Reese shoots way short. Preble comes away with the rebound. Eight minutes left, so now we're into the second quarter. I've been saying that all year. I should probably get over it. I'm tough for change, though, Coach. I know that. I've known you a long time, <laughs> Chris. Oh, well, so am I. You know, I. I, I believe in looking for things that are improving the game, but uh, so far I haven't seen it out of this <laughs> rules change. And I miss the old CLC. I miss the uh, FR, you know, VC, and I uh, I miss the Armory too. <laughs> Just uh, field houses are neat, but that was a neat thing, the Armory. But uh, I miss the CLC, and uh, now the Big East. And you made a comment about that. Uh, to, those teams only get to play each other once once a year, which is pretty tough. You know, you always look forward to playing a team, especially if they beat you the first time, it's going back and making adjustments and then having the opportunity to play again. And you don't get that when you only go through and play each other once. Yeah, and then you don't also get to see some people like with a home and home. You know, big advantage to go on the, to play at home as it is on the road. Well, Govek picked up the foul there. Four fouls now on each team. Tyler Gunther back in, Mike Rank back in. And South's got to play with five, not six. Coach Rank is uh, keeping his people fresh. He knows that they want to play up-tempo because Preble's got a short bench, so keep the pressure on them, and especially offensively, as they're pushing the ball up ahead. Yeah. It should wear down Preble, Preble, especially with no first quarter break in there. And Preble just seems to struggle on offense. Every possession is long. Walls heaves up the three is missed. There's an offensive rebound by Bookmeyer and a basket by Buss. He did a nice job there, for, you know, rebounding out of his space and going back and scoring. Uh, you know, you would assume, I don't, I haven't seen them practice, but playing against those bigs that are sitting on the bench every day, it's probably made him the player that he is. Good point. Here's Tyler Gunther. He was a quarterback on the football team until he got hurt. Then he got to play some uh, wide receiver. Nice, nice basket there by Ockenorth. 
His first basket, 24-13, six minutes left in a fairly fast first half. Knock on wood. Well, there's a nice flow for South to this game. You know, they're getting, they got off early on the offensive end, and they're, they're pushing the ball again, and that, yep. I think, that, that's deep from deep rank. Three. Just like his dad used to, Marty and I were mentioning that the other day. His dad, when he played, liked to shoot, and he was a good shooter. And he liked to shoot it from deep, too. <laughs> see, Logan can't be reaching like that. And see, that's just, you're going to get that call. He doesn't need to do it. He's, he's behind him, and the, all he has to do is keep moving his feet and make it more difficult by, by staying straight up. And, you know, if he has, you know, that's putting defensive pressure in the post. It, you don't need to do the reaching. Yeah, he reached twice, and the second time is going to be called. Good the double by Rank. That came and helped him out. That was, you can tell that's a coach's kid right there. Bust inside deep, can't get it to go, and Rank with the rebound. Savage in about two and a half rebounds. I know he's got two for sure. There's Gunther through the Staggered lane. Screen, that was a nice play. Rotated the ball from side to side and then, and then came in with the staggered screen and came off for a layup. Nice job by the South Red Wings. Tell you what, you may struggle on offense, but you you know, one thing you can do is always play D. You can't give up layups like uh, Preble's giving them tonight. Boss. He's having a nice game. Boss has scored the last six points for Preble. Hamilton gonna hit that, not this time. Good hustle. Reload. Ooh, something. Whoa. And uh, the Preble fans are not excited about that call. And I'll tell you what, he was standing there straight up. But that's going to be the third foul on Griffin Summers. And the leading scorer who can play tonight is That's going to make it tough. Really I mean, tough. He was, he was trying to do everything on the offensive end and he ain't trying to carry his teammates but you know the official made the call and he won't take it back so he's got to go to the bench tough call for him and a couple free throws by tyler makes it 28 to 15. Now South puts pressure on, and with Summers out of the game, that's going to make it more difficult to break that pressure. Well, they say he tipped it. I didn't see that either. I would have thought he just threw it out of bounds. Even he thought he threw it out of bounds he, as he was shaking. The way he reacted, he definitely yep. thought it. Dietz was shaking his head, so. Nice behind the back. He gets in deep, but no foul. Here's Buss going down Main Street and Montavo with a block. Ginther on the push. Can he hit the three? No. It been nice after that block on this end. A little bit of an excitement in the crowd. And, you know, if they would have hit that one, they would place what would have really got excited. It's a wide open Preble player, and Dietz never saw him. Back to Buss. This is Wall. Buckmeyer remains open, but nobody wants to get him the ball. That's number 43. So good live hands there by Tyler. Rolling down to 307, 28 to 15 it's is South's lead.
with Summers uh, on the bench, you know, they're going to have to look for somebody else to step up and, and, and score for them. Buss would be their next leading scorer. Well, he's the one that got a couple baskets yeah. in a row, but now the South seems to be concentrating on him a little bit and making him give the ball up. There's Gutierrez. Hit a couple threes earlier, missed that one. Yeah, the leading scorer and the third leading scorer for Preble are hurt, and the second leading scorer has got three fouls. That's why they're stuck on 15 points. Green Bay Preble went to Florida over Christmas. They played three games in Ocala. And there's a back-to-back -to -back turnovers on Preble. Good hustle. Oh, exactly. Sumino is going to go out of bounds. Everybody stopped, but Gunther and you know ran the ball down and, and got an easy basket because of it. Great reward for great hustle. Aye, three play. turnovers in a row and a layup for Gunther. Probably the experience of being a wide receiver gave him hands like that because that was a really nice defensive play of, of stop, getting up and, and grabbing that ball in midair. South playing some zone. We saw him play zone the other night in the second half against, uh, well, late in the first half and part of the second half against North. So they've been working on this a little bit. And that's, you know, that's a little different for Coach Rank because he's always been a pretty much straight man to man, aggressive defense. and. You know, but but I think with Tyler Hamilton getting in some foul trouble, he's probably wanting to work on some zone to just in case protect people. We're a buck twenty four left in a very fast first half. Going in on Martins, and he doesn't get it to roll. Bus missed that one. Preble three and seven, two and four in league. South two and seven, one and four in league. And Golvek takes the three, is wide open. Martins with the rebound. Octum North to the rack nice and in. Move. Change hands in midair. Real nice move. It's got a couple of layups. Was Avin? You like a good those shot moves? right there. Half hook from about. 12 feet away, that's a, that's a real nice. Coaching point town, is that why you call this timeout? Again, I, I think with without the, 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 the uh, first quarter break in there, you, you know, he wants to go out on, on this half, uh, you know, on a positive note. So he wants to make sure he's gonna get the shot that he, he wants to get. And, uh, you know, they've done a giant job. 34 points in the first half is, you know, they're playing much better. They, they have that momentum. It, it looks like they have a little bit of their mojo back and uh, playing with confidence. But he feels like he really wants to get something out of this. So we'll see what happens. Um, Mike Rank, the coach, he coached at Random Lake for a few years. And uh, happy to come home. He did. He does do some football coaching too. Here he was at uh, South, and now doing the basketball. He also got Hamilton back in the game. And let's see if he gets something into Jordan to give him a little bit of confidence going into the second half. Six foul. So with eight seconds left, we won't even 
most likely get to the bonus. They're going to let Ginther take it to the basket. Three seconds. Dumps it down nice to Goldbeck. Nice play. Just and how they drew it up, I'm sure, again. It probably wasn't on there at all. But uh, that leads us to halftime where it's south. Definitely command here, 36 to 17. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We are the, the ultimate, ultimate team players. players. The ultimate team player. Be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packer fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! Time was, kids did what came naturally, spending free time running through the grass, exploring streams. But times have changed. Today's indoor kids spend more than seven hours in front of electronic media. That's why National Wildlife Federation created the Be Out There movement. Outdoor play improves kids' health, body, mind, and spirit. It helps them stay fit, enhances creativity, and could even make them better students. There's a reason they call it the great outdoors. Learn more at BeOutThere.org. Be out Every child adopted from foster care remembers their one day. The day he first met his forever family. The day their adoption was finalized. More than 100,000 children are waiting for their one day. My one day was happy. Find out more at nationaladoptionday.org. <laughs> Let the sky fall Ladies and gentlemen, your varsity dance team once again first place this past Saturday with that routine in freedom. And let's have a nice round of applause. Carly Reinemann, their coach. Excellent. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Mia Hamm. As a professional soccer player, I know how rewarding sports can be and how quickly injuries happen. So I've teamed up with the American Association of Orthodontists to ask athletes to play it safe. With my years of training, I know what it takes to become an expert, and orthodontists do too. They're the experts who help people obtain healthy, beautiful smiles. Wear mouth guards, face masks, and helmets to prevent injuries. Keep smiling and visit braces.org. One of my most rewarding experiences as a dietitian has been actually quite recently, just a year ago, when I met Donna because she was so motivated and ready to lose weight and to get healthier. Well, since I've met Sue and listened to her guidance, I've lost about 80 pounds and I have been taken off almost all my medications. To me, I mean, that's something to shout about. I just see the future getting better and better and better because I'm getting healthier and healthier and healthier. Ian Ralston was a combat medic who was injured in Iraq. When I met Ian, I knew he had to help him get his housing grant, an auto grant, and every benefit to live as normal a life as possible. And we did. PVA has helped hundreds of thousands of veterans get the care and benefits they've earned. My name is Jason Stevenson, and I work for Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paralyzed Veterans of America. Changing lives, building futures. This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. South High, uh, Chris Wright along with Jeff Wolf. A very good first half for South High as they lead 36 to 17. Uh, Jeff, your impressions of the uh, first half? 
Well, I think South came out strong on the offensive end, which they were looking to do and develop some confidence. Uh, I think playing up-tempo against a shorthanded Preble team, uh, especially after the summer kid got in foul trouble, really helped them. And there's no, the, the big guys aren't standing there in the back, so they're really taking the ball to the basket and, and shooting very high percentage shots, which will, will give you a lot of confidence if, if you have those kind of shots in front of you. But playing with great rhythm, break, playing with great tempo, and doing a real, nice job. Defensively, you know, they know they shorthanded, so if they take away a couple of those guys that they know can be their top scorers, Preble's going to have a very difficult time scoring consistently. Consistently. Now you're up by 20 and your coach rank. What do you tell your boys at half? Well, I, don't, I would say you have to say it was a good job, but let's forget about it. It's 0-0 right now. Let's build on it and keep getting better because, you know, they were at the other end of a score like this the other night. So uh, you, you, you want to have a short memory when you have that, but you want to have a, a, a long memory of building on the confidence that they developed in, in the first half. And uh, he'll stay on them. I know he's that type of coach, he, you know. He, he de he's demanding in a good way, and uh, you know, hopefully they continue to, to play that he wants them to play. Genther with eight, Guterres with eight, and Golbeck with eight leads south. The leading score for Preble was Ryan Buss. He also had eight points, so and he almost had half the points. There's a throw up by uh, Wall that's wasn't really squared there. That's an interesting shot for the young man. Yeah, especially coming out of the half. I think you'd really want to get a good shot on the offensive end. They were patient in the, in the first half and, and to before they shot. And I think he would, Coach Wall, probably wanted him to be a little bit more patient there too. Well, Split Gerber missed one. Gunther missed one. Gunther missed one, and you know what I didn't like about Tyler there after he missed it? He just sat there and did nothing and watched the play. Um, can't settle. No. I mean, again, uh, you can't take anything for granted. They, you know, you got a big lead, but you let down and, and don't play with the same intensity. You know, you can let the Preble back into this game. Griffin Summer tried one off the bank there, but it didn't, didn't go in. Here's Splitty. Running one of their sets. Out to Tyler Gunther for three. It's good. And the foul. We're going to have a four point opportunity here for. I think they called it off the ball, so they'll actually get the ball okay. out of bounds after the, the made three. So. You get five points out of this possession. Nice. Gunther nice step scores on. again. Curl, curl cut ar around the, the screener inside. Nice play. Well, Tyler got the three and the two points after that. Bus tries to shoot one in there, misses. Govac with the rebound, and South still pushing the ball. Well, Jeff, I know South has a lot of good athletes, and I know Logan Hamilton, their leading scorer, uh, is, you know, their leading scorer, but he's only got four points, and you're getting contributions from so many other things. It's almost like you don't need Logan to not, not you don't need him, but it's nice to see other people contribute. contribute. Well, that's, uh, I mean, that's certainly a positive for tonight's game, but uh, also something you look forward to build on in the future for other games, that he doesn't have to be the one that does all the scoring. And I'll tell you, Tyler Ginther, that ball was in and out. And there's a bailout foul against Tyler. Those are tough calls. No. Well, it was the same kind of play that Summers got his third foul on in the first half, so uh, I guess he got it back. Yep. You kind of just drive down the lane. Those little guards drive down the lane. They heave up a shot. Next thing you know, he's at the free throw line because he 
drew some contact. Well, they throw their bodies in there and, and uh, you know, then to make it a tough judgment call for the officials. And this time, you know, he drew the foul. South pushing again. Nice. Gutierrez hit a couple threes in the first half. That was looked right on target and goes out. Tell you, AJ and Tyler's threes look like they were going to go in, and neither fell in there for them. Dumped to the post. This is Bus. Logan Hamilton playing very good. Good help deep. by Govic. And we've seen Govac do that a couple times tonight, and Mike Rink Jr. And that helps Tyler Hamilton in the post. Then he's not going one on one against the offensive player and drawing those fouls. And there's a basket. I guess we got to let Preble score sometimes as Griffin Summers gets the 21st uh, points for him. 21 points for Preble, excuse me. I think South is still running in their stuff. They're running, being patient. Oh. Logan. Just yep. took his eye off the ball. Looking yep. to make it move before he caught it. Yep. Logan did exactly that. Saw his head move. You know, sometimes when you have a big lead, everybody gets a little trigger happy. And uh, South is doing a nice job of staying in their sets and running offense and moving the ball. It's good to see. And there's no selfishness in, in, the, in its team tonight. Bus with the ball. Oh, pushes on Logan Hamilton, and and finally they're going to get a call. Logan a little frustrated there. Well, he got popped. Yeah. And, and, and you know, that makes it tough to defend if if you get popped like that and you're trying to stand straight up and nothing's called. Then what do you do? Because if the next time the offensive player gets it, you'll try to do the same thing and run over the top of him. Hamilton with the with the pick. And Gunther shoots it up and misses. You know, I played with Logan's dad, and Logan hustles for one there, and they're going to call a foul there. And uh, Logan's dad would set the pick a lot of times, but he'd always want to pop out and get the pass right away. <laughs> and I gave it to him. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Logan's dad, Leroy Hamilton, coach the uh, Falls girls. Does a nice job over there. Yep, they've had some nice teams. There should be a charge. There you go. Good job, Logan, stepping in there. Doing things on both ends. You, you know, we've been mentioning Logan Hamilton, Logan Hamilton, because he's active, Jeff. He's making plays and not sitting on the bench tonight, you know. The other night, maybe he goes for a steal or a block right there, and picks up a foul, much smarter play to go ahead and take the charge and stay out on the play and field. Well, we're under 14 minutes. We've got four, four minutes in and just six points, four by South and two by Preble. As we mentioned earlier, Preble, Eight of their 10 games this year, they scored under 50 points. Their field goal percentage is 40, as Logan gets deep in on Dietz. And uh, he'll have an opportunity to make a couple free throws. South time, that time, isolated him into the post, kept the ball moving from side to side, and got it inside, and needed a nice, strong, quick move to the basket to draw the foul. Logan averaging, or excuse me, 67% from the free throw line. Averaging uh, just under 15 points a game. He's up to five here tonight. But I don't see him panicking and hunting in his own shot. You know, sometimes when a kid is a leading scorer and he's not getting the points that he's used to, he'll start hunting in the shot. There's none of that going on here tonight. Another coach's kid. Nice tip by their, by Tyson Reese. And then he gets the score. And so with South up by 24, they're going to still put their press on. 
And uh, Splitty, Jared Splitberger, going to get that foul. Jesse Edwards into the game for the first time. He's number 22. Bookmeyer was coming up the floor, but uh, didn't want to challenge Hamilton and Gutierrez. And uh, tried, a, tried a little bounce pass in there to the post, to, to number 55 bus, but uh, South kicked it away. Coach Rank going to his bench and getting more people into the game with a big lead. Again, th th those guys uh, made some contributions into the first half. Uh, you know, let's see if they can do it again here in the second. You know, Preble's just not quick with their ball movement. It's just, which means uh, South can recover quickly. Bus gets in deep. Rank with the rebound. Reese over to Logan with a spin. Yeah, you gotta call that. Well, I, I think that's what's happening. <laughs> and uh, at a second, because like Logan kind of grabbed after, so I was wondering if he was gonna get it. I get a nice spin move inside, taking the basket <laughs> hard. Forty-six to twenty-one. Looks like a pretty confident free throw shooter there. I think his dad has worked with him a little bit over the years. South still in the press. Preble does a pretty nice job of breaking it. And a, kind of a throw up to the basket by Bookmeyer. He gets his own rebound. We used to call those a leaping leaner. And uh, I think he was surprised he was that open and, and, and it was floating. And, and at least he got the shot up to the basket. Alex English, leaping <laughs> leaner. Nice hustle, right oh. to rank. Nice Gets it block. blocked. Optica North gets his hand in there on the hell ball. It'll be South's ball. 47 to 21 with 12.08 left. You know, it's a, it's a hustle play, and he gets the ball back for South and gets another opportunity in the offensive end. It doesn't show up in the stats, but, uh, you know, those kind of plays uh, can, can make a difference, in, especially in big games. That's Edwards, 22. Reese. Rank. Reese in there, and it goes. Shot. Tyson Reese now with six points. Nice little replay. Bus had a good first half, hasn't found the basket here in the second half. But so. he's continuing to play hard, and I give him a lot of credit for that. I mean, he knows, you know, deep down as a player, you know you're overmatched tonight and you're short-handed. So what are you going to do? You're going to cry about it, or are you going to go out and play harder? And so far, he's done a nice job of playing harder. Deep three there by Wall. Preble with another offensive rebound. Dietz tried to throw the official, but he took off. So he hustled and got the ball. I didn't mean to do that. 
Swing to Griffith. He gets knocked down and the foul. Now we might see the opportunity for a four point play. Well, I've coached a few games myself, and my biggest pet peeve is the following the jump shooter. I can't stand that. You're 27 feet away, and you follow the guy. Oh, and now he gets to go to the free throw line, and this one was even worse because he made the basket. Totally agree. And now you throw the ball away. Get a little sloppy here. We'll see if he goes back to his bench and brings in. And he is. He's going to bring in Splitty back in to try to settle things down. Jared Split Gerber back in the game. Jared's got two points. But Jared's one of these kids that kind of just does all the little things yep, and hustles. Exactly. Hustle play. Go out to defend. And the fouls are starting to mount now, Jeff. Seven on South, six on Preble, and we're at 11-13 with a 24-point lead for South. And Summers can't get it to crawl, but uh, cheating. I think South was in the lane too early. So another chance for Summers. 78% from the line, and he missed both. That's unusual for a shooter like him, probably. Probably doesn't do that very often. And they need their points every opportunity they can get. South in a bit of a slump right now, and gone into a lull offensively. Let's see if they can get something back on the defensive end to get them jump started again. Wall misses. Wall has struggled from out there tonight. And a timeout on South. That'll be their third. I think this is a good timeout because, like I said, they, they, they've had several possessions now where they haven't got a good shot on the offensive end. So Coach Ranks takes the timeout, and he'll set something up and see if he can get a better shot. Our next broadcast will be Friday night when Ashwabanon uh, travels to north. Uh, Mike Martin should be back from Arizona that day. Uh, again, I want to thank Jeff Wolf for, com for coming in. And uh, I know you enjoyed doing this. And My pleasure. It's, a, you know, it's great to be back in the gym you know, in any capacity. And certainly, th this is a great opportunity for me. And I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, and I, and any opportunity we have for you to do, we'll do that and um, have you join us. And tonight's not the most exciting basketball game, but it's nice to, to get a home win, that's for sure. Let's hope South can hold on for the last 1042. Yeah, it's an important game for them. To, you know, we talked about it before the game, you know, how they're going to come out, how are they going to respond to getting beat pretty badly by Sheboygan North the other night. Uh, and I think they responded well. And it, you know, it, they kind of played North pretty close in that second half, but it was so far behind that uh, there's not nothing that South could have done there, uh, especially in you know in North's home gym. Uh, February sixth will be the next North South game. That'll be here. Good movement in the zone by South. Good hands. Wall with the turnover, and Reese scores. I, don't, I didn't think anyone's going to catch him, and he's got some great quickness and got to the basket in a hurry. He's got eight points tonight. Um, That's a nice contribution from him coming off the bench like this. Yep. South now in their zone. Just, uh, it's not a good pass. And a chance for Montava. Oh, and he's going to get called for the charge. I don't know if that young man was set. But uh, we're going to call it a charge. 
It's a turnover. Just, just his third foul. Lots of fouls on the board uh, for both teams. But uh, in a game like this, it shouldn't matter much for South. Nice dump down. A bus, quick hands there by Optin Morth. Nice pass. Nice pass. Split. Oh. Misses it. Preble trying to run. We don't see this very often. Maybe we should. Nice conversion there from the defensive end. Coach Ranks putting in five new players. Halfway through second half, air ball up there. But uh, Spooty with the offensive rebound and take to the basket. And the more difficult layup he makes. Nice hustle play. 53-27, 8.40 left. Then all south. They trailed 5-4, to four, but uh, then led 20-7. to seven, And uh, Preble hasn't got any closer. Montavo. Yes. A nice outside shot. You know, tonight they can take the ball to the basket because Preble's got so many bigs out of the game. In other games, you know, they're going to have to have people step up and hit some outside shots. So if somebody hits one like that, gives them a little bit of confidence, you know, maybe that, that guy can help them on down the line. Martins, Rank, Govec, Hamilton, and Gunther are all into the game. Or as Sim Sanford said, a flock of Red Wings. Sim, the master of the microphone. You ever do that? Take five new guys and put them all in? Yep. I did, but it was normally when I was mad. Yeah, well. <laughs> you know, actually, when I first played in my freshman year at North Carolina, Coach Smith used to do that regularly, bring five new guys in. They were called the blue team. And what we would do is just come in and try to change momentum, play hard, and wear the other team starting five out. So, so that was a coaching move back then. Don't see it very often today unless the coach is upset. Another three for Ginther. Yeah, but you had <laughs> you had 12 high school All-Americans, so you could put five in and five out. Well, uh, you know, it, it, there was a method to his madness. That was part of it, but it also gives the guy a chance to play and be uh, ready know, in case you get called saying. on in the second half. I know what you're saying. Yeah, I'm playing for Coach Smith must have been a great honor. It was. He was the best. It's amazing, and I can remember back to how far it's been so many years now. We have a full time out here by Sal, so we'll take a quick break with uh, South up 58 to 30. This little chick has hearing loss. It can be lonely, sad, and often accompanied by ringing in the ears or even loss of balance. But there's good news, because birds have an almost magical way of regenerating their inner ear cells to restore their own hearing, so they can live a happy, chirpy lifestyle. Imagine if science could achieve the same miracle with people. Well, at Hearing Health Foundation, we support research that is doing just that. Visit us at hhf.org and learn more about the cure for hearing loss and tinnitus. 
back at South High. 6.53 left in a game that's pretty much in hand for South. Tried to step through double screen on top again for Gunther, but the, the pass is fumbled. Hey, we were talking about putting five players in and taking five players out. I always did it to make a point because I was so mad at the five that were on the floor. I never did it when we were up by 28 points. Um, if you five can't do it, we'll figure out five more. That's why we have a bench. And that is a motivational technique that some, you know a lot hey, of coaches use. You know? And I know one of the things Coach Desitello always preached was, you know, the best way to get to a player, have him sit on the bench because he's not on the floor. And everybody wants to be on the floor. So uh, when you're out there, you earn your time. Check it in for South number 21, Evan Up. Good north. Must have blood on his uniform. Bus now up to 12 points. Griffin Summers leads there with 15, and there's a, a miss by South and a rebound by Wall. Jesse Edwards coming back in the game. Bus taking out Main Street. Nice job. And delivers. He's having a nice game. He's playing hard, uh, taking advantage of the opportunities he's getting, and uh, doing a real nice job. Uh, he was averaging nine points and seven rebounds, and there's a three by Govic, and now they're starting to shoot up some shots. I think South is settling a little bit. I mean, it's... <laughs> He's in deep, half hook is missed. Govic with the rebound. 58-33. Let's see what they do for ball movement. Double screen there. Screen down action on top. Nice, nice roll. Cut. There. Oh. You know, and I've seen South, and this is that young team thing, miss a lot of layups on the games that I've seen this year. A lot of those, you get the nice move, but you just can't finish. And that'll get better this year, this summer, and uh, next year as well for those young boys. You hope so. You continue to work, and uh, you got to finish plays, and, and that's what good teams do. And you know, if you want to be a good team and, and get better every day, you know, you continue to work on those fundamentals. And uh, one of those things is you know finishing with your outside shoulder, going into the basket to finish on those layups. Didn't mention Kerry Kautzer's in the truck, and Richards, our only uh, camera person tonight. Uh, the uh, the camera underneath is the uh, invisible camera. Ooh. Oof. On top with the block. And for purple, David Parrott. Tyler Ginter coming out, 16 points for the senior. He's had a nice game tonight uh, on both ends of the court. Preble down 36 to 17 at half. Well, that'll help the deficit a little bit. As we mentioned before, they're only averaging 48 points a game. Excuse me, 46 points a game, so they're not even up to their average yet. I don't know if I mentioned this. They went to, I know I mentioned that they went to Florida, but I didn't tell you the scores. I think they lost 71 to 18, 70 to 39, and 64 to 50. So 
It was a good thing that the weather was warm down there uh, over Christmas because uh, the shooting didn't help. And I think they were counting on their three big players well, to be exactly. there. Well, exactly. I mean, you, you're committed to a tournament like that. You know, you've got teams coming from all over the country down to play. Uh, you feel like, you know, when you're at full strength, you can compete. But when you lose players of the caliber that they've lost, it's going to make it very difficult. Right. And probably not what Coach Wall expected at all. But uh... I mean, the same is the same case as tonight. I mean, it's a 60 to 36 game, and uh, without those players sitting on the bench, what do you have? 30, 40, you know, 45 points, you, you know, sitting on the bench. That's going to make it tough to, to beat a team like South at home, who's playing well tonight. Well, there's no question that the tallest Preble players in the warm-ups that we are next to all were in street clothes, which is too bad. But at the end of the day, no one's going to end who was playing and who wasn't playing. You, you win or lose, and you have to play with those people that, are, that, that you have and that are healthy, and, you know, that's part of sports. Three twenty-four left. Ooh. Ay, ay, ay. It uh, took a while to be called there. That was the correct call. Dylan nope. Martins, uh, he normally likes to dish it out a little bit. That, that time he took a tough blow. Definitely a good call by the officials there. Oops, standing out of bounds. Reese on the drive and the kick, and it got knocked away. Edwards. Drive nice by Reese. Move. Ooh, that's nice. Now up to a dozen. He throws the defender with his hesitation and blew right by him on the score. He's, now he's got 12. That's a real nice game for him tonight. Reese with the rebound. 2.23 left. Ooh. Tried to do a spin move there, got caught up in the air and it got knocked away. There's a three point attempt. Missed. And guess who? Not tonight, he's going to be denied. Obviously, showing Coach Frank uh, a little more playing time in my future. Maybe he'll get on the program next time with a performance <laughs> like this. Ryan Buss. Buss with his. 16th point tonight. And give that young man credit. He's really played hard and does a nice job. Oh. And a timeout by Preble to get a, uh, subs in. 32nd timeout called Preble. A timeout here. Well, Jeff, part of the deal is uh, anytime they win, we got to do interviews. So you and Richard are going to go down and uh, do some of the interviews with the victorious uh, Red Wings tonight. That'll be in about a minute 34. 68-38. And again, I want to thank you for uh, coming tonight. Um, I know you and I go way back and uh, probably don't see enough, but uh, I'm, I'm glad you could help me out. I appreciate it. You know, it's always a good time to, to see you and the, and the guys here. You do a nice job, or, and I appreciate being asked. And uh, I know it's hard to follow in the legendary footsteps of Mike Martin, but uh, I hope I, I've done a decent job. <laughs> and Reese again. He could get 20 points before this night's out. 70 to 38. 
Tyson Reese, 18 points. Passes Ginther for leading scorer tonight in a three. Derek Williams, three. Derek Williams counters for Preble with three. Why wasn't he in earlier, Coach Wall? <laughs> Dylan uh -oh. Martins wants a three. That have everybody on the bench up. <laughs> Be able to hit that. That's May, dumps it down, yes. James Williams in, in the books. He's got That's his first basket. And uh, South should just kind of dribble this out, nope. Tyson, <laughs> he's, Reese is going into no man. Uh, you know, I'm, am I bad or am I tired? <laughs> I went out. <laughs> Can I get out now? What do you want, a standing ovation by the fans? <laughs> He's got 18 seconds left. I, I, even if he is tired and you're coming off an 18 point performance, I, I, I think you stay in there. Well, with four seconds, that'll end it. It's going to be 70 to 43, a victory for South. And that's the end of the ball game. We'll take a quick South break, and when we return, uh, Richard will Great be uh, shooting Jeff. Jeff. We'll have a couple uh, South players. We want to thank you for coming out to tonight's contest. Please drive home safely. Did you know that your thumbs are some of the scariest things on the planet? <gasps> Every year, an average of 6,000 people lose their lives to thumbs that are used to text while driving. That means that your opposable digit is more dangerous than volcanoes, sharks, airplanes, jellyfish, tigers, lions, tornadoes, roller coasters, hippos, skydiving, spiders, and snakes. Texting while driving is more dangerous than all of those things. So why isn't it one of your biggest fears? This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Getting out of the military, I was missing this camaraderie. It's frustrating when you try and talk to people that don't understand. I still had the anger, I still had the uh, addictions, but we didn't talk about that. Came to a point where it's like, okay, I really need to talk to somebody about this. Family more or less encouraged me, you know, go, go to the VA. It's okay to go get help. It's okay to talk to people, because it takes true strength to ask for help. Hear veterans' real stories of strength and recovery at maketheconnection.net. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic, and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn. And slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus. That was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. When you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. I'm Miranda and I chose adoption. A healthy diet and plenty of exercise are keys to success, both on and off the ice. Teaching kids how to Test eat right and give them the fuel they need to be at their very best. Growing bodies need lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy to be healthy and strong. A registered dietitian can work with your family to help you create nutritious meals you will love. And don't forget to exercise for at least 60 minutes every day. Visit kidseatright.org for more information. You show your smile to the world every day, but nearly four out of five Americans say they would smile a lot more if their teeth looked better. The good news is healthy teeth can be safely and affordably corrected at any age. Advances in orthodontics have made the treatment more successful and comfortable than ever. Only orthodontists receive two to three years of education beyond dental school to learn the proper way to align and straighten teeth. To learn more, visit mylifemysmile.org. See these hands? They grip the wheel of a Humvee in Afghanistan. Twelve years. Flying choppers. My hands? They're here for the person who fought in Afghanistan. 
I made the call and got support for my sister. Mine take care of the person who flew those helicopters. And if life gets overwhelming, they're ready to dial the Veterans Crisis Line. Confidential help is just a call, click, or text away. Bye. We're back here at the South Field House. Um, I'm Jeff Wolf with uh, Tyson Reese and, and Tyler Gunther, uh, the victorious Salt Red Wings. Great job tonight, guys. Uh, Tyler, as a, as a senior, you're looking to come back after the North defeat. You guys came out and played strong tonight. What do you think was the key for the game for you guys? We went back right after the North game and had a great week of practice. We worked hard. We all committed in and all bought into each other. And it, North game was really uh, waking up for what we could, could be doing, and tonight was a good show of it. You did a real nice job. As a, as a senior, your backcourt really stepped up tonight. And offensively, what were you looking to do? It looked like you were really looking to put offensive pressure by, by pushing the ball at the court against them. We haven't been shooting all that well lately, so our big focus is on attacking the rim and getting to the lane and drawing fouls. So I thought we did a real good job of that tonight, and we had a lot of guys step up and play good, and a lot of our backcourt played real nice. Yeah, you had a lot of contributions, uh, guys coming off the bench like uh, Mr. Reese here, uh, Tyson Reese, uh, a career-high 18 points tonight. What got you going tonight uh, offensively that, uh, you know, you came through with a career-high? You know, I just had to be aggressive. Coach told us, you know, get the ball inside. We did lots of good uh, screens that we had, but my teammates just got me open, and I took it aggressive to the basket. I thought you guys did a real nice job of being patient tonight offensively and moving the ball from side to side. It put, you know, made the defense shift and allowed those lanes, those driving lanes to open up. Defensively, or offensively, defensively, what do you consider your strengths? On offense, uh, just making sure to push it through the floor, put pressure on the defense, and when I get it in, you know, look for my open guy. If I don't got the lane, then kick it out to my guy and get, hopefully get us some baskets. You did a real nice job tonight. Now, looking forward to the rest of the season, I think this is a good game for you guys to build on. It's to build some confidence. It looked like you were lacking a little bit in the last few games yeah. that I've seen you play. What do you look forward to for, from yourself and your teammates for the rest of the season? Just getting back into the rhythm of basketball. I mean, we were forced in the last couple of weeks. We felt like we all had to do it on one possession, and now we're just taking it one possession at a time and taking it easy, and we'll see where this goes. Well, you guys did a great job tonight. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing great things out of you for the rest of the Thank season. You. Thank you. Thank you. Well, congratulations to South High, 70 to 43, as Coach Wolf mentioned, 70 to 43 victory. Uh, with that, we're going to close up, and uh, we'll uh, be seeing you on Friday when North hosts Ashwaubenon again. A victory tonight, 70 43, and uh, we want to thank Kerry Kautzer. Uh, Richard, again, doing a great job on the camera, and I, I want to thank my guest, uh, Jeff Wolf. He did an outstanding job on analysis. With that, my name is Chris Wright, and we'll see you on Friday night.